In this video, I'm going to work an example problem related to solute transport. The problem statement says that water drains from a soil profile above an aquifer at a rate of 15 millimeters per year. The soil above the aquifer has, has an average volumetric water content of 0.17 centimeters cubed per centimeters cubed, and the depth to groundwater is 25 meters. Calculate the time required for a solute to travel from the soil surface to the groundwater table, assuming the solute does not interact with the soil. So the first step is to determine which equation we want to use. And in this case, we want to use the equation for solute travel time for a soil layer with a uniform water content. That equation is T is equal to L, the length of the soil column, multiplied by theta, the volumetric water content of the soil column, divided by Q, the water flux through the soil column. In this case, we are given each of these variables in the problem. However, before I plug these numbers in, I want to point out that the units for the thickness of the soil column, 25 meters, are different than those for the units of the flux, which is given in millimeters per year. So before I plug in these values into the equation, I'm going to convert the depth to groundwater 25 meters to millimeters. So we have a thickness of 25 meters, and we know that in one meter there are 1,000 millimeters, which leaves us with a total thickness of 25,000 millimeters. So this is the value that we will plug into our equation. So now we have that T is equal to 25,000 millimeters multiplied by our volumetric water content, which is 0 0.17 centimeters cubed per centimeters cubed. And we have that whole quantity then divided by our flux, which is 15 millimeters per year. Now you can plug these values into your calculator, and you should get a value of 283.3 repeating years, or because there are only two significant figures in our problem statement, the final answer should be rounded to 280 years.